Good morning, good morning. Hey guys, Michael Kincaid. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Today, we are checking out a app by the guys, folks, gals, I don't know, from Drone Harmony. I actually got an email from them and uh, they have put together a sweet mission planner that you can really customize and get some super sweet cinematic and really pinpoint what you want the camera to do so i'm just this is just a just diving into it i flew it one mission last night so we'll go ahead and load up a mission test flight flagstone i guess we'll hit that button okay we just uh have it centered around the house and let's see how we there we go okay so what we have is each one of the numbers here on the screen like you can see where the drone is where the red triangle then at 75 you can tap on that that's the altitude and the red lines you see indicate which way the camera you want the camera to face so check that out so as it gets into position it should focus in right on the house you can hit your little edit pencil over here check the gimbal pitch so let's go ahead and angle that down just a touch we'll set that Angle it back that way a little bit. And that should get a shot. So that'll go up to 100 feet. Then you can hit that one. 200 feet. We got it angled looking out. Again, you can edit whoop, your gimbal pitch, which we want it to be straight up looking straight out let's check this other one edit gimbal pitch straight out that's good so then 143 it's coming down in altitude i've got it where it is swinging back around is facing the house so it should pivot around now one thing is i don't know how which way it'll pivot that make sense so we'll see we'll do a flight and see so now I want the camera we'll edit gimbal pitch I want it to start looking down at the house we'll check 114 and again it is pitched down at the house hopefully well, let's look at it hit our edit pencil okay set cool then 75 again our subject will be the house on this coming around the back side and we'll edit pencil gimbal pitch boom all right <clears throat> now that you have that mission set you can hit your little 3d mapping module and you can see look at that you can check the flight pattern and you can see how we have it getting in the middle of this thing that's looking straight down the house will be in the middle alright so another cool thing okay there the slider bar again you can just tap the screen and adjust which angle you want to see so you can do this slider bar and it'll that green light shows so it'll be facing the house you can see it's angled down and will be facing that's the view the camera will see okay so as it goes to this next one now it's facing out it's facing straight out so it's not going to show the ground so that's good then boom that's that what camera's facing out if you remember boom now we got it shining back down towards the house boom boom 
and end. How cool is that? All right, so we'll go back out. Let's go ahead and get the Mavic connected. Okay. So now we are connected. How do we record camera? Maybe hit this camera icon up here, I hope. Maybe it'll do it once I take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Oh, during flight record, yes, video. All right, warning, the plan launch is 43 away from current drone position. Make sure there's no elevation difference and no obstacles. Okay, got it. Reduce speed at turning points for smoother video. So we want to go ahead and, we do want to speed it up. Go ahead and do 10 miles an hour. Actually, we'll just do five miles an hour. We do want to reduce speed. Launch. For emergency chop for emergency stop change to another flight mode using the RC basically enter sport mode the mission will be terminated the drone will start hovering in place you are responsible for the safety and legality of all flights that you do with the app okay cool launch here we go it's got the timer got the drone right in front of me it is loading it's loading drone is taking off and it is up all right and we will it is getting into position you can see it is got the house should have angled it down a little bit but anyhow first timer newbie so it should pan up. You should maybe see the lake way off in the distance, possibly. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, it's panning over back behind the house. It does look like it's recording. Nice, smooth shot. So it's starting to pan down to get in position for the next waypoint that we had set now it should come back around and then be angled down towards the house because that is going to be our subject so I'm a little off of my angle but I saw that in the green light I, I saw that it should have been angled down a little bit more so again this is just kind of some practice flights Coming around, keeping the house in subject. Coming back around. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode. All right, very cool. All right, so apologize if this is a little bit longer than normal video. So let's do, let's see if we can load up a new one. All right, let's do, let's do one at 70 feet. Done. Let's see if we can get it to kind of go down, start down the road. start to pitch like that okay so I want our first waypoint let's find out okay we want the drone to start here basically and then here we want to keep it focused in on the house if we can do that so Wada bing, wada bow. Nice. And our ending shot. 
that right there. Then you can add in the middle and add some more points. So again, we can move this one, fly it straight over, looking at the house. We'll do this one. And again, turn it so the camera's facing the house here. Ending shot. We'll add another one here in the middle. Wada bing, wada bow. Mm -hmm. right, so gimbal pitch. What do we? At Kimball Pitch. Alright, so that should look pretty good. Let's go to our 3D module. So it's looking straight down at it. So zoom, boom, boom. All right, that actually looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. So now we're gonna see. So let's go ahead and start this mission. Oh, keep forgetting, take it off sport mode. So what we have, we should go down to the starting point, then start the mission, and then land down there in the cul-de-sac. We want video. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one pretty slow. Launch, launch. Hand is on the sport mode, because it's kind of flying out a little bit, getting a little bit more Aggressive, it's downloading, uploading plan. Alright, it should be flying over. Should fly over and get into position, hopefully. It is rotating the camera around properly. Should have angled it down a little bit more, but again, practice makes perfect. I wonder if I can do that manually now. Nope, I'm trying to do the gimbal by myself. So you can see the potential on this. Again, uh, so we need to adjust. I'm going to go ahead and flip it into fly it back over to us. We're going to make some adjustments and try it again. All right, so we need to, and basically I want to move this one back. So it'll start there, and we hit that, so it's on that one. We want to angle the camera down a little bit, probably, I guess, 65. Let's go 60, why not? Tap our next one. 70, gimbal pitch, 
50. Tap our next one here. And so let's go in and check this real quick. Hope that looks better. Boom. Keep on forgetting. Launch, launch. Now that we've made the adjustments, let's see how this works. It's downloading. Off she goes. So this is the beta test version. Don't know if it's out to the general public or not. Uh, I'm flying this with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So it's spinning around, getting in a position. Oh, too much. Dang it. Maybe it'll look better once it gets a little closer. See me maybe down there on the front porch. Now that looks pretty good there. Waving, waving. Now that looks pretty good. So really nice, especially for uh, real estate professionals that have their license. Very cool. So you can see, like I so said, this is just my second time actually using this app. Flew a little bit last night. Uh, we don't want it to land we'll go to sport so there you have it awesome awesome little lab by drone harmony but you can see it has actually got some really cool potential all right over and out